Hello, hello, this is Sharon from Sharon's Tutorials and today I'm going to show you five easy ways of inserting bullet points into Excel because unlike Word, um, Excel doesn't have a quick click to insert a bullet point. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope you find it helpful. As always, give the old thumbs up um, a click if you did and we'll crack on. The first way I'm going to show you is using a keyboard shortcut. And I need to point out first though that this is using the numerical keypad on your laptop. Yeah, if you have a numerical keypad, then you need to use it for these keyboard shortcuts. So we have an Excel spreadsheet here and I want to put a bullet point in cell C4. So to do that, you need to use the keyboard shortcut Alt and 7, which gives you the standard round filled in bullet point. We'll just put in here, Alt plus seven is the keyboard shortcut for that. If you want to use the hollow um, circle bullet point, then again, use Alt and nine keyboard shortcut. So I'll just put here, Alt plus nine, and you can see there. So they're two different bullet points using keyboard shortcuts, Alt plus seven and Alt plus nine. If you want more than one bullet point in the same cell, then once you've typed in Alt plus seven there, click Alt and enter to go to a new line within the same cell. And again, use the same keyboard shortcut, Alt plus seven gives another bullet point. Let me just stretch that out a bit. So you can see there, they're both in the same cell. The second way is using the ribbon. And if you want to, if you want um, fancier looking bullet points, then you could do it this way using the symbols. So first put the cursor where in the cell where you want the bullet point to go. Click on insert in the ribbon, go right across to the right hand side to symbols and click symbol. So you can see here, this is a symbol menu. Click on the drop down arrow next to font and choose a font that has a range of different symbols. So the ones that we tend to use are um, webdings and wingdings. They're the ones that are generally the best ones for that. So just choose whichever you want to use. We'll go to webdings and then choose a symbol that you like and click insert and close. So that's a quick way using um, the ribbon. And again, press alt and enter to move to a new line in the same cell. And then you can insert the symbol again. And you have two bullet points there. Another way of inserting bullet points is if you have a Word document with bullet, but a bulleted list already there and you just want to copy and paste it into your spreadsheet. So we'll go to one here. You just highlight the text, Control C to copy, go back to Excel. Control V to paste will paste one bullet per row. If you want all the bullets in the same cell, then click on the cell where you want the bullets to go. Press F2 before you paste them. So And, and then press Control V and they will appear all in the same cell. And then you can go into the cell and put in any additional spacing that you need, format it, etc. The next way is using text boxes in the Excel document. So go to the insert tab on the ribbon, across over to the right hand side where it says text and go to text box. And you can just click and drag a text box in here. Quick tip for you, when you're creating a text box, I'll just do another one here press Alt at the same time as clicking and dragging and it will automatically snap to the um, the grid lines, to the cell grid lines. So it's, it lines in perfectly. So once your text box is created, right click on the text box, go down to bullets, over onto the arrow and you now have um, some fancier options here for your bullet points. And you can see there that that works just as well. And my final way is thinking a bit outside the box here, and that is going to use the smart art graphics. So if you go to insert, go across to your illustrations group here and click on smart art. And then in the category section here, go to list and just choose a standard vertical bullet list here. Click OK and if you click on the little arrow here and here is where you put in your bullets. So you can see this is another way and like I said it's kind of thinking a little bit outside the box but SmartArt is a great way of having a different design and a different layout of bullet points. 
And when you're in Smart Art Graphic here, you can see there's a tab on the ribbon now called Smart Art Design. So this is where you format everything. So you can change your colors if you want to. Um, and you can change the style of it. You have all these different options here. It's just a handy way of laying out your bullet points in a slightly different format, that's all. And there you have it, five easy ways of inserting bullet points into your Excel spreadsheet. I hope you find it helpful. Remember sharing is caring. And thanks for watching. Until next time, happy learning.